Donald Trump went on Mike Huckabee's program on Trinity Broadcasting Network. So Huckabee's former governor of Arkansas ran against Donald Trump briefly, got his ass handed to him, and now spends most of his time sucking up to him. But they started the interview very informally, talking about Huckabee's daughter, who's Huckabee Sanders, the press secretary for Donald Trump. Oh, this is cute. Let's watch. President, let me get right to the most important question I'm going to ask you today. Tell me, how good is your press secretary? Well, I think she's uh, perhaps one of the most talented I've ever known. She's, uh, and actually, uh, first of all, your daughter is a great person. She is a great human being, and she stepped in, and it's not easy. You know, you have a lot of haters out there screaming questions. When I look at those people, they're just hating. They never thought this was going to happen, and it happened for a lot of good reasons. But she has done it with uh, brilliance and with coolness, and we're very, very happy with the job she's doing. Sarah's a very exceptional person. You just did know a, that You did a good time. job. Your wife did a better job. Probably. My wife did a better job. And just know that we will forever vote for you for having just said those I words. Understand that. That. I understand that. Oh, okay, all right. Well, now that that circle jerk is done, uh, in that case, quite literally, since they're both jerks, I think you got it. Anyway, uh, let's go to the heart of this interview. This is about the uh, criticism he took for uh, his attitude in Puerto Rico. Uh, look, I don't want to rehash the whole thing, but he went over there and he's like, "Ah, oh, you put our budget out of whack. He implied that Puerto Ricans were lazy and were not helping in their own rescue efforts. He went after the mayor. Uh, and then he thought he was having a good time, so he started throwing paper towels uh, when he was giving away much needed supplies. Here, let's take a look at that video real quick. That's the president. In the middle of a disaster, if it was another story and he went and he's doing a campaign stop, that's actually kind of fun. But in, people died. And he, he's like, you know, Hurricane Katrina was bigger. That was a real hurricane. But okay, all right, fine. Hey, let's have some fun. Uh, and he uh, told some people that uh, to have a good time. Oh my God. So, Huckabee, of course, is going to do a very hard hitting interview about this. Let's watch. We really did a good job. I mean, one example, they had these beautiful soft towels, very good towels. And I came in and there was a crowd of a lot of people and they were screaming and they were loving everything. And we were, I was having fun, they were having fun. They said, throw them to me, throw them to me, Mr. Pre and so I'm doing some of the- They had these beautiful soft towels. <laughs> everything has to be over the top. They're just normal paper towels. I have no idea how beautiful or soft they are. They take these beautiful soft towels, okay? And people are like, throw them to me, throw them to me. So I threw them to him. First of all, even if they told you to throw them to him, you, you're, you're the president. You should just pause for a second and go, wait, is that a good idea or does this look really stupid? So, now, but it turns out, of course, it's the media's fault. All these are awesome. Wait till you get to the last clip. You're gonna love it. All right, here we go. Here's more. So the next day they said, "Oh, it was so disrespectful to the people. It was just a made up thing. And also when they had, when I walked in, the cheering was incredible. You were a they, rock star, I saw oh, the video of it. It was, it was crazy. Was so crazy. The cheering was, it was deafening. They turned down the sound so that you just heard the announcers, Donald Trump. Oh, you were a rock star, you were, oh man, you were, oh, it, was, it was crazy. I was such a big star. It was a hurricane. You were supposed to go to help with relief because people had died and at that point, we still couldn't reach folks because communication was down, the roads were down. And they said, I was a rock star, I was great. I said, the media is not telling the truth about how great I was. Uh, the people of Puerto Rico loved me. Yeah, let's do a poll, see if that's true. But it isn't about you, God, he is so self-absorbed. He's such a child, he's such an egomaniac. And Huckabee is there helping him like, oh, you're almost finished, Donald, keep going. Oh, you're such a rock star, oh, you're almost there, Donald. So now he's gonna go after his critics, watch. We have a mayor of San Juan, Puerto Rico, who didn't attend meetings, who didn't work with FEMA, who really did not do a very good job, in fact, did a very poor job. And she was the lone voice that we saw. And of course, that's the only voice the media wanted to talk to. 
the and she's running for governor just you know big surprise i know you're shocked to hear that she's running for governor but she's not a capable person and my people were telling me that to start off with so we did a great job and remember everybody we did a great job i'm awesome i want you to remember that and anybody who's ever criticized me because uh, their people are suffering and dying ah they're running for governor yeah, she's terrible terrible uh, maybe you should help her re recover from the hurricane. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. She criticized me. I hate her. Okay, how about people who praise you? Ooh, that's a different story. Let's watch. The governor is a terrific guy who was praising the job we've done. Almost every mayor, I think there's over 70, hmm. were praising us. Uh, and they were praising us. The congresswoman, who's terrific, uh, single congresswoman, represents, you know, uh, Congresswoman. Jennifer Gonzalez Colon. She represents 3.5 million people, actually the most of any congressperson. But she has been incredible in her praise of the job we've done. Well, look, I give him credit. He pulled out the name. For a second there, you, you all thought he wasn't going to be able to say the name, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, now remember everybody, all about me. Everybody's praising me. What, Hurricane? What? Coming in, what's that? Oh, people died. Um, Remember, back to the praise of me, Megalomaniac 101. Okay, now here comes the ending. The media is is really the word, I, I think one of the greatest of all terms I've, I've come up with is fake. I guess other people have used it perhaps over the years, but I've never noticed it. It's serious times, and the hurricanes are serious. The guy can start World War III, but really, no one else had used the word fake before. Well, at least you hadn't noticed it. Anyway, anybody use the word? I haven't noticed it. That's the first time I've heard the word fake. <laughs> <laughs> Even if he meant fake news, the word, the phrase fake news, first of all, has of course existed in the past, but was used about. Uh, the fake news websites that were supporting him during the election, that's where it came from. Uh, so, you know, I invented the word fake and have I told you during this interview how great I am? This national embarrassment is our president. We gotta get him out of office immediately, immediately, before God knows what he does with those beautiful soft towels. Help us build independent media together. Come join us, tytnetwork.com slash join.